So one thing you should understand is that nursing is a highly competitive course, just like every other medical course that requires your dedication and your focus. Not like nothing is hard, but it requires you to be able to follow lay down processes and be time conscious. I mean, time conscious. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Aditayo. I'm a registered nurse. And on this channel, I talk about nursing, academic writing, research and productivity. So, if you would like to be part of this community, kindly subscribe to this channel. Thank you. So today I'm going to be taking you through how to study nursing in Nigeria University. We are going to be talking about the requirements, the cut of mark calculation, the best universities based on accreditation, facilities, student support services. So without further ado, let's go right into it. So we have several universities that offer nursing as a course. As I said earlier, I'm telling you the best universities based on accreditation, based on facilities, and based on student support services. These universities can either be federal, state, or private. Now, let's go to the federal universities. The first one is University of Lagos, which I graduated from. We have University of Ibado. We have um, Uni Loring, which is Ilori, University of Ilori. We have OAU, Obafemi Aoluo University. We have Onsuka. We have Federal University of Yekiti. We have Bayeri University in Kano. And then we have University of Calabar. For the state universities, we have Lagos State University. We have Imo State University. We have Delta, Delta State University. We have Ambrose Ali University. We have Oshun State University. We have Yaya State University. For the private universities, we have Babcock University, we have Bowen University, we have Achievers University, we have Madonna University, we have Adelike University, we have um, Ibenedion University, we have Afe Babalola University, we have Benson Dawusa University, we have Leeds City University. So different schools have different criteria for admission. So from for some universities, they use JAM and post JAM. Why some universities they use jam, push jam, and why? Why some other schools have extra criteria for admission? So, want to go to a particular university? Try to find out from people that have graduated from that school the criteria, and this criteria admission have been updated, updated yearly or as time goes on. In 2015, when I applied, um, we're just using jam and push jam in a lag, but now it's jam. Jam and why be focusing on federal universities and how to calculate their cut of marks. So, the first criteria is that you must have done the five core science courses in your YEC, NECO, or GC. So, for the core courses, are physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, and English. So, when I was in secondary school, I had a senior that did commercial, but later changed to science, in which she had to take extra classes. And then she did why you can register for science because she passed. So if you are not a science student, you have to go and study science courses and then have your five credits. While well, for JAM, English is a very compulsory course that you have to pick. And also the other courses in sciences are, are based on the discipline that you want to go for. For instance, we we know I told you that we have three core science subjects, which is physics, chemistry, biology. However, for those going for MBBS, but MBBS not seen related biology is compulsory. But for those going for engineering, biology is excluded for them. So now let's go to how to calculate your cutoff mark. So now I want you to have your calculator with you, your biro and your book because I'm going to be doing some little mathematics that I want you to pay attention to. So for schools using JAM, push JAM and Y, this is how the cut-off mark is being calculated. The push JAM takes 30%, your JAM takes 50% and your Y takes 20%. The first thing you want to do is that when you get your JAM score, you want to divide your JAM score by 8 to get 50% of your score. So now, for instance, you have 256 in JAM. All you just have to do is 256 divided by 8 and that's 32 so that's 30, so that's 50 percent you keep that somewhere so for yek anything below is c it's a no no so this is how it's been calculated your a is 4.0 your b2 is 3.8 
your B3 is 3.6, your C4 is 3.2, your C5 is 3, and your C6 is 2.5. So 5 is, you know I told you we have 5 courses, 5 core courses that you are picking for YEC. So you pick out the 5 core courses, then you calculate it. So for instance, if you have 5 A's in those core courses, 5 times 4 points, I told you A is 4 points, that's 20 points. So now, you've already calculated the jump, then you have your you have your YEQ. So imagine you have 20, and the first one we calculated was 32. So 32 plus 20 is 52. So you have 52 somewhere remaining post jump. The post jump, if you scored 30, so have 30 to 52. And that's 82. But in schools, where is the jump and YEQ? So it means that jump is 50% and YEQ is 50%. So your jump score is 256. I told you to get 50% is that you divide by 8. So 256 divided by 8, you get 82 somewhere. So your A1 is 10, B2 is 9, B3 is 8, C4 is 7, C5 is 6. C6 is 5 A's means 50 and then you have 32 somewhere. So 32 plus 50 and that's 82. So this is my advice. For those that will be writing post jam, I would advise you that if your YEG result is not so good, I would advise you to put more energy into your post jam and make sure you do well. Now for those that are writing just jam and YEG, make sure your YEG result is very good and your jam result is very good. So you just use one to compensate for the other. I feel like the preparation for admission to the university starts when you are in your secondary school. So it means that from secondary school, you should have had the cut off mark so that you are already expecting and preparing towards that school. How do you prepare? So you can check online, you see the cut off marks for different years. So for 2015, cut off mark for nursing could be 60. 2016, it could be 70. 2018, it could be 80. So you look at the progression and then you now put something higher you don't go lesser or you don't use catchment area to determine what to work with you work with merit so you prepare yourself and anticipate towards that score so for instance when you're in secondary school you already did your work and you already saw your result you're already saying okay if i had this result you've calculated how much more do i need to meet my goal what do i need to prepare for in addition to this i will tell you that nothing is not a cheap course I'm not talking about the tuition now, but the practicals and the things you have to do, the books you have to buy, these things are expensive. I'm not going to cajole you. I'm just going to be telling you what it is. So, so if I was asked which university is the cheapest, I would say that no university is cheap. You just have to plan. You have to know what you can afford. For instance, if you realize that your parents are not so buoyant, you can decide to apply to a federal university. You don't want to go for a private university that is more higher because of the attrition. In the university, nursing is a five-year course. So after your five years, you do one year internship and one year NYS, making seven years. Then after the seven years, you can decide to look for a job or you go to any country of your choice. Isn't a good course? Yes. And nurses needed in high demand? Yes. But is it easy? No. It takes five years of schooling, two years of post-graduation experience, 20 practical exams, four professional exams including hospital finals, about 500 hours of practical experience, and different presentations. So it is not easy. You just need dedication and focus. In the midst of this all, I think nothing is worth it. And I feel you can do it. All you just have to do is to give it your best. I mean, if others are doing it, then why can't you do it? I hope you enjoyed the topic discussed today. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel in order to get notifications of more videos. And if you don't subscribe and just watch this video, and just watch this video, 